like meteorology is to weather, atmospheric composition is to climate. Here on the rugged west coast of Ireland is one of the most important and cleanest atmospheric observation posts on the planet. Macehead is operated by the National University of Ireland Galway under the Centre for Climate and Air Pollution Studies, or CCAPS. The centre is at the forefront of research in the areas of air pollution and climate change. Here at Macehead, this strategy is implemented in an operational system called Streamer. Streamer integrates highly sophisticated instrumentation, atmospheric models and real-time air pollution and climate data. Macehead plays a key role in the pioneering Advanced Global Atmospheric Gas Experiment, or A-Gage. A-Gage is a unique observation record of ozone depletion and greenhouse gases that began in Ireland in 1978. Jerry Spain has been monitoring that data for more than 20 years. Our remote location allows us to look at the global background levels of many pollutants. These long data series allow us to look at the impact of interventions such as the 1987 Montreal Protocol, which restricted the use of ozone depleting substances. We see CFC levels rising until the effect of the protocol becomes evident, resulting in their eventual decline. In contrast, there's been insufficient intervention in terms of CO2, and the levels continue to rise. MESET is part of a project called the Integrated Carbon Observation System. It's a network of stations, and the measurements are used to validate emissions models. Our work is at the forefront of aerosol science research, and recently graced the front cover of the journal Nature. Dr. Darius Sabernus is the Research and Operations Manager at Mace Head. His work is based on aerosol cloud interaction. Our results reveal complex interactions with condensing water on organics on the way to forming haze and cloud layers. Organics arising from phytoplankton dance and death cycle reduces haze formation with its low water solubility. However, its surfactant properties lower water surface tension, thereby activating more droplets and leading to enhanced brightening. Now, why that brightening is important? Because brighter clouds reflect more solar radiation back to space, which reduces global warming. The 1980s saw ever-rising CO2 levels, ozone depletion, and our ecosystem devastated by acid rain. Black smoke air pollution also contributed towards many deaths, particularly in urban areas. Dr. Jorgita Ovadnevaita has spent the past decade collating key data generated by a sophisticated aerosol mass spectrometry program. Our long-term research has revealed a real conflict between battling air pollution and what is good for climate. For instance, we managed to reduce sulfur levels, which is good for air quality, but it actually unmasked some of the greenhouse gas warming that it normally counteracts. On the flip side, Green fuels, biofuels are good for the climate, but they worsen air quality. Only 4% of the fuels burned in Ireland is wood and peat, but it actually adapts to 70% of particulate pollution. Therefore, any intervention should account for both climate and human health. Valuable real-time data from Maze Head and atmospheric models come together in the Streamer operational data system. We can then offer this real-time data to decision makers and emergency response teams in times of international crisis. One recent example of our support was during the 2010 Icelandic volcanic eruption. This caused widespread disruption to global air travel. We worked with aviation authorities to help support decision making and get planes back in the sky. Our data can also be used to forecast the impact of severe air pollution episodes, wildfires and other fugitive emissions. From our data here at Macehead, we know forensically our environmental footprint. No more excuses, no more uncertainties, no more lack of data. A clear picture emerges of the impact of intervention. But still, more needs to be done. We can't allow climate change to be the legacy of our generation. Here at Macehead, we are fighting back with real-time data systems and forensic science. Surely now is the time to bring about a climate for change.